In this video, we'll find the oxidation number for each of these elements here in Al2O3, aluminum oxide. So we have general rules that'll help us. When we look down at the rules here, we can see that oxygen, that's almost always minus two, except in a few instances. So we know that the oxygen, each one of these, is gonna be minus two. We also know that in a neutral compound, and this is neutral because it didn't have a charge, in a neutral compound, all the oxidation numbers, they're gonna add up to zero. So if I look at these oxygens, three times minus two, I have a minus six for all of the oxygens. That means the aluminum is gonna to have to be plus six for these to add up to give me a neutral compound, to be zero. So two times some number will give me plus six. Two times plus three, that's plus six. So the oxidation number on each aluminum is gonna be plus three. So to recap, we found the oxidation number for the element that we knew, oxygen in this case, and then we used that to figure out what the oxidation number on the aluminum would be. This is Dr. B with the oxidation numbers for each element in Al2O3. Thanks for watching.